And hold on, everybody. Although this is my view right now. What up, y'all? What up? What's everyone doing? I'm waiting for dinner right now. Oh, so beautiful. How's everyone doing? What is everyone doing? Give me your best quarantine stories of the day. I am interested to know what everyone is doing. This is for a limited time only makeup. I had to do some work today, so I got ready. Generally, though, you will not find me looking like this during the quarantine. What's everyone doing? I want the best quarantine stories of the day. I'm going to read them out loud. Give me something funny. I want to hear funny things that happened, funny things your family members said. Uh, I know, uh, I'm so sorry, no workout today. I actually had no motivation today. I think I worked out for 20 minutes and then I stopped. (laughs) Was not in the mood today, but I'm gonna be back tomorrow. Everyone, listen up tomorrow at noon. Put this on your calendar, make a note of it at noon tomorrow. Live from the XFL's Instagram page, it's at XFL. I will be going live, joint live, with an XFL player, and we'll be doing a workout plus a really funny question and answer session. You do not want to miss it. So everyone, set it on your phone tomorrow at noon, noon Eastern, live from the XFL's Instagram page. It's at XFL, me and an XFL player going live. It's going to be really funny, and he's a really funny guy. His name is Martez, Martez Carter. His nickname is Mr. Excitement. He's hilarious. Him and I are going live doing a joint workout, and then we'll do a fun Q&A, or maybe the other way around. But either way, I want to see all of you there. All right, let's get some fun quarantine stories. What's up, y'all? Um, okay. Come on. Funny stories. Someone's got to have a funny story. Make me laugh. Today's been like, look, I mean, it is beautiful out here. Look at this. right now I'll walk around um yeah I know people are saying no funny stories hello Brit hi say hi to everybody come here hello sweetie how sweet is he hi Brick. hello uh okay let's see what is everyone doing Someone says they're better at beer pong. I would not doubt that. My beer pong skills lately have been garbage. Like, legitimately the worst. I keep saying to people, I'm like, I rock at beer pong. No, I've been totally terrible. Isn't this beautiful? All right. Let's get some funny quarantine stories going. Eat, sleep, repeat. I know. Isn't it the truth that today I was looking at my clock and I was like, how is it only 3 p.m. right now? I'm really running out of things to do. (laughs) What else? Um, Okay, someone's discovered some old books to read. What are you reading? What are you guys reading? What are you watching? What's the Netflix deal? I just bought stock in Netflix today, everyone, so keep watching. Um, Hennessy and Sprite. Wow. That's what you're doing all day? I mean, I'm not mad at it. Let's see, someone said my friend was taking off her hoodie as I was driving herself and went flying out the window. Oh my God, that's terrible. I'd be so pissed if my cell phone got thrown out the window. Um, all right, let's see, what's everyone else doing today? Isn't this beautiful? Ah, I love it. Joaquin Diego's in Satellite Beach. I don't know, is anything open? I don't even think things are open right now. There is um, a couple like, there I went to a surf store today for a quick second. Groundhog Day, tell me about it. That's how it feels. Do I know how to swim? Of course I know how to swim. That was like one of the first things I learned as a child. Oh, you're stuck inside for the next 12 weeks? 2668 Tony Y. Where do you live? 12 weeks? Oh, um, what La Croix flavor do I like the best? I like the Pample Mousse. The best. Hi, Diana. That's my 
That's my uncle's girlfriend over there. Um, oh, yeah, I know. I can't wait for summer either because hopefully that means this is over with. Ooh, Bobby, what's up? Bobby Maximus in the house, ladies and gents. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's do your podcast. I'm down. What days do you do it? Let's do one next week. I'm so down. I don't got shit to do. Come on. I mean, I do have some shit to do, but not a lot. <laughs> so I'm down. And even if I did have shit to do, you were like, come on, let's do this. Um, okay, what is everyone up to today? I want some funny quarantine stories. I got one from a guy about his friend's phone flying out the window. That is very unfortunate, but unfortunately a little funny too. Uh, my favorite flavor of bang is purple haze. Love the purple haze. Um, speaking of, I think I'm about to partner up with bang. So that'll be fun. Fun little partnership there. I will keep you all posted on that. I should have some information, uh, coming up shortly on that, but that'll be awesome. Um, someone's asking, is the X in La Croix silent? Yes, it's, it's not La Croix. It's La Croix. La Croix. Say it with me now, La Croix. Mm. Hello from Ecuador. What's up, Ecuador? Ecuador. Called Ecuador because it's right on the equator. Cool little fact for everyone. Um, <laughs> someone's dance in every single corner of their apartment. Oh, my God. I love it. I have been... Ugh, I started doing a thousand piece puzzle yesterday. And like it's taking over my life. Like I feel this insane like pull every time I walk past the puzzle to like find one piece that goes in. I did the whole border because you know you always start with the border. If you don't start with the border you're a psycho. That is a fact. Um, so I started with the border. I have the whole border done. And now I'm like getting like the easiest parts done. But like when I have to get to the the rooftop of this store that's in my thing and then like the grass and the trees no hmm so let's get some funny stories I want to hear something funny someone tell me some jokes get some jokes in here let's get some stories there's got to be some funny stories I know people are like stuck with their parents and their grandparents they're my mom she doesn't even realize it when she like does the funniest stuff my mom put on volleyball knee pads today and she was doing the puzzle on the floor with me because her knees are hurting. So she has a pair of my old volleyball knee pads and she was wearing them for the puzzle, which like is totally fine. Actually a really great idea. But then she just kept the knee pads on for the next hour. And I just caught her walking across the, the uh, condo. I'm like, why do you have these knee pads on? She's like, I don't know. I forgot to take them off. So it was just, it's just funny. You know, let's get some stories up in here. Or give me some recommendations for shows, movies, podcasts. I don't care. Just tell me something good. Okay, well, here's a joke from Chauncey Talon. What's... Here we go. Let me go. What's the room a mummy is scared of? The living room. Ooh. I like that. What else? What did the chicken do... Why did the chicken not cross the street? I don't know why. Put your put the punchline in the same uh, line because someone's saying Ozark to watch. DK Kevin. I've heard Ozark is so good. Um, why did Charlie's TV break? She was on the TV again. Mackenzie, hi! Oh my gosh, I'm already I've already watched All American even before quarantine. All American was my favorite show, and everybody on that show is attractive. Am I not correct on that? Everybody is attractive. Every guy, every girl, the parents, the coaches, all the teammates, everyone's attractive. Except there's one blonde dude. Who's the blonde dude, uh, the teammate, who was just annoying as hell? <laughs> Ooh, I do love Shaws of Sunset. Uh, I, I've watched that my whole life, though. Quarantine, that was not, that was BC before quarantine. No, before, I would say BC before Corona. BC is, yep, Mackenzie C, 100%, 1,000%, she said. Everyone is attractive on that show. I don't even know which guy I think is the most attractive. They're all so attractive. Um, favorite show is Bar Rescue. I used to watch Bar Rescue sometimes. Oh, my gosh, M-Dog 2K Sopranos. That is one show. Oh, <laughs> you stalked all of them on Instagram, Mackenzie. That's amazing. I actually think I started, what did I, I started following one of them. Who's the, the main, uh, 
Spencer James. Is that who I started following? Yeah, I think I started following Spencer James on Instagram. I also, everyone, someone else who's also highly attractive. The guy uh, who's in, um, oh, what's that Netflix movie? It's like uh, uh, all the, to all the boys I've ever loved. Noah Centineo or whatever his Noah Centineo, Centineo. Love him. Uh, haven't gotten a follow back, unfortunately. Uh, uh, let's see. Shameless. Hunters. Uh, I do not have Disney Plus. Actually, I thought about getting Disney Plus, but I have not gotten it yet. I just, you know, I'm a Netflix girl. And I do want to watch uh, whoever recommended Sopranos. I do want to watch Sopranos, but I don't have HBO Go. So I'm thinking about maybe getting the subscription to that. But, like, how many different platforms can you have? I'm not watching that much TV. Actually, that's a lie. I am. My mom just laughed. Hi, Mom. Mom, I'm going to flip it around. Say hi. Hello, everyone. I can't even watch the news. I don't know what's going on anymore. Because all I watch is Gossip Girl. Yep, Gossip Girl is the, the move Gossip right now. Gossip Girl. And then I don't just... It's like, hello. What's going on in the world? <laughs> okay. Anyways... That's that's all the airtime we're giving her for now. But thank you for contributing, Mother. You were truly insightful. Um, uh, oh, yeah. I am also watching Tiger King. I'm in the midst of watching Tiger King. I think I'm three or four full episodes in. And, um, oh, my God. Can I cancel my mail? Okay. Anyways, I... Oh, my God, Charlie. My mail's gone. What do you mean your mail? What do you mean your mail's gone? Okay. Anyways, mail, mail icon, mom, you, my she's freaking out because the mail icon on her iPhone went away. <laughs> These are the stories I'm talking about, people. Someone else has got to have good stories from quarantine. My mom over here is free. No, no, <laughs> mom, look, it's gone. Oh, look how cute we were with that old picture. Mom, you just have to go. Just go here, search mail. We're going to help I everyone. Delete. Did I delete it? No, mom, it's fine. Mail. So now we just have, wait, hold on. We have to go to. Mail. There it is. Mail. Okay. Okay, so you just have to. I think you might have just deleted the icon. It'll be back on your screen. Now look, open. Oh. Anyone know how to get the mail icon back on your phone? I actually don't know how to do it. You didn't delete your mail. You just deleted the icon. You didn't delete your mail. The app store. Okay, so she goes to the app store and then what? She just Does she have to re-download her mail to her phone? Guys, this is what I'm talking about. Someone else has to have good stories. Okay, so she deleted it. So now what? No, I put cancel on there. It shouldn't have... I know. She's so funny. Everyone... Guys, am I the only one who has good stories? Okay, so she deleted it, so now she re she redownloads it, and then what has to sign up, or what? Knock, knock, who's there? Noble. Nobel who? Oh, Nobel. Nobel who? Nobel, that's why I not. <laughs> okay, Mom, you have to set it up again if you deleted it. Just, it's fine. Just put your name and password in there. It'll be fine. All right, thank you, everyone. Crisis averted. It'll be fine, Mom. Um, someone said, while working from home in isolation, I bought a new desk chair in the shape of a racing car. Wow. We are all very bored. That's what our lives have come to. Buying different chairs that mimic things we wish we were doing driving a car. Um, I want to hear funny stories. I want to hear funny stories. I want to hear, I don't care any stories. Bizarre stories. Crazy things you've been doing. Oh, yes. King Victory 777. Let's talk about that documentary, Last Dance, coming up on Netflix. I am pumped to watch that. What is the release date? I think April 19th, right? I think April 19th. It's a 10-part series. Is that correct? I, yeah, I'm super stoked for that. I'm going to definitely be watching that. Let's see. Oh, we have Lebanon. No, Lebanon. Oh, my God, Lebanon. Is it Lebanon or Lebanon? Wow, I sound stupid. Lebanon. Lebanon. Is it Lebanon or Lebanon?
Lebanon. 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 I don't, I'm sorry. Wow, I'm going to stop talking to myself. You guys. Oh, wow. Okay, people fighting over toilet paper. That is so not cool. If I ever saw someone fighting over toilet paper, I would legitimately make so much fun of them. I don't even know what this whole hoarding of toilet paper was all about. Like, how often do you really need to use the bathroom? And, like, how much toilet paper are you using? Uh, feels great out here. Feels great. Uh, just as a reminder, everyone, tomorrow at noon... Noon on the XFL's Instagram page at XFL. I'm going live with the workout with an XFL player. We're going to do a fun interview too. So make sure you're tuned in noon on the XFL's Instagram live. Okay, yes. Everyone, tell me your Amazon purchases right now. I like that idea from Brian Kirk. What are the craziest things you bought on Amazon? <laughs> My mom's like, shit. Mom, it's fine. Relax. All right, what are the craziest things you bought? I'll tell you what I bought on Instagram so far. I have bought protein, I bought two things of protein, chocolate and vanilla. I bought a tripod because I have to use it for work. I bought um, some, some syrup that I like that they don't sell in stores. I bought a medicine ball that was sent to the wrong address, so I'll never get that, but... It was a nice thought. 50 bucks down the drain, unfortunately. Oh, wow. Someone bought sex toys. I mean, look. Who are you using the sex toys with, though? Are you quarantined with this person you're using the sex toys with? Because you can't be going on dates right now or sleeping with strangers. So I want to know who the sex toys are for. Whoever you are, respond with who you're buying the sex toys for. It's actually very interesting. And what sex toys did you buy? Because I'm also interested in that. Everybody, boxing gear, that's cool. Someone bought a 15 pound weight, that's cool. I, I'm in the midst of watching Tiger King. <laughs> you guys, Big E's back. And guess what? He did not buy toilet paper because he, he thought his gardening hose. He, he has a gardening hose he uses as a bidet. Look, I can't hate on the economical standpoint. You know? Bidets, actually, there was a bidet company. I don't know what the name of it is, but it has seen a 300% increase in sales since the beginning of coronavirus because people are like, I don't understand this. I'm telling you, I don't understand the toilet paper hoarding or like the people's like freaking out. Like, what am I going to do if I've used the bathroom? Everyone, it is going to be fine. I'm more worried about food personally, but I have all the food I need. I've been like really stocked up. <laughs> about other people's Amazon purchases. What are the best Amazon purchases we've had? What else? Oh, I bought some Bowflex weights before all this got crazy. I'm so happy. Best purchase I've ever made in my life. I would have gone crazy without those weights. Uh, someone uses do do Mr. Peasy using those dollar bills as toilet paper. Man, I want to live in your house. Except I really don't because dollar bills are like the most disgusting things in the world unless you're using like hundreds I don't know if you're on that level but if you are props uh yep Ty Fiddler buying exercise gear what else uh just to let you know what's happening over here I'm over at my uncle's house it's my uncle's girlfriend Diana and we're making chicken on the grill she is like a tremendous cook. She's making like this smoked chicken with like hickory chips and some marinade and I don't know. She's using charcoal too. That's all I know. All I know is I'm, I bought the ingredients and I'm having her cook. My mom and uncle are here also. And the dog, Brick. Let's see. What 
else is going on with everybody. Okay, someone bought Lysol wipes, candy, and M&M's. Very smart purchases. No, I am definitely not social distancing myself from the chicken. I am getting up close and personal with that chicken, all right? You're not supposed to put your fingers right now in your mouth. You're not supposed to put your hands in your mouth. The chicken is going in my mouth. No social distancing happening with this dinner. It's going to be all up in my grill. It's not barbecue chicken. It's like some other delicious. We had it the other night, and I loved it so much I bought her more chicken to make it. Ooh, peanut butter eggs. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe Easter is coming up. Um, I just bought an Easter egg decorating kit at the grocery store today also. Essential purchases only. Uh, Skittles or M&M's, someone asks. I'm more of an M&M's girl. I do like the tropical Skittles, but they actually have, like, gotten worse over the years. Like, they used to be fire, and now, like, not as good. But M&M's, the truth. Yeah, ask me some more of those questions. Like, either or. I like those. Someone about LED lights for the room from Amazon. That's cool. Yeah, guys, ask me either or questions. I like these. Raw or SmackDown? <laughs> well, because I'm on it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I can't choose Raw or SmackDown. That's not fair. But I like them both. I'm, I'm just going to say, I'm also, I'll say Raw because I'm on it and like Team Red all the way. But I love me some SmackDown too. What kind of M&Ms do I like? I like uh, peanut M&Ms. Amazing. They're delicious. I actually just had three of them inside. Yes, three. Because I know I'm going to eat more later. So I try to like ration myself. I get a couple here, get a couple here. Uh, boys in the hood are menace to society. Um, menace to society. Twix or Snickers? Twix. I just had two Twix today too. Um, lipstick or heels? Lipstick. Definitely. i not about those heels life. Um, cool ranch Doritos or flaming Cheetos. Why, why you got to do me like that? Cool ranch Doritos. Pizza or a cheeseburger? Mm, cheeseburger. Uh, special dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Milk chocolate. Even though it's not as good for you. Hip hop or pop? Hip hop. Yes. Star Wars or Star Trek? Honestly, I don't watch either. I've never really gotten into any of those. So I cannot comment on that. Let's see. Mm. More either or I like this. Hot Cheetos lime or hot che or regular regular hot Cheetos. Actually, I've never had a hot Cheetos lime. Mm. Mm. Might have to get some of those tomorrow. Uh, any or Audi, any. Red or white wine, red wine. All day, every day. Red wine, baby. I don't even F with white wine unless like there's no other alcohol in the vicinity nfl or nba i like nfl i still love nba but if i have to choose one mcdonald's or wendy's that is the easiest question ever mcdonald's orange or lemon Ooh. it depends what it's for i'm gonna go with lemon though man on fire or training day training day love training day one of my favorite movies ever meatball or ravioli meatball i'm not a huge ravioli person i mean i'll eat it don't get me wrong but i love me some spaghetti meatballs tamales or tacos tacos Ooh, ooh, you guys are making me hungry whiskey or beer beer i love beer treadmill or elliptical uh i kind of hate them both i guess the elliptical Pee in the shower or the toilet? I mean, the toilet. But I am totally down to pee in the shower. Like, if I get in the shower and have to pee, like, bottoms up. Um, table tennis or table hockey? Table tennis. Love ping pong. Hammer turkey? Turkey. The office or parks and rec? The office. Oh, God, wait. No. Oh, that's the hardest question ever. Parks and rec. Changed it. Love parks and rec. But I love The Office. Wow. Okay, I like them both. <sighs> Parks and Rec. That is really tough, though. I still actually am not totally sold on that response. Cake or cupcakes? Mm, cupcakes. Cake. Cu cupcakes? Cupcakes. Cupcakes. Um, Kimmel or Fallon? Ooh. 
I think Fallon. I think I like Jimmy Fallon better. But Fallon's a New York guy. You know what I mean? Well, they're both New York guys, but he's in New York, like, all the time. So I like Fallon. Um, Vegas buffets are a steakhouse. Duh, steakhouse. Vegas buffets are, Vegas buffets are gross. People just go there and gorge themselves, which is totally fine, but... I like to have, like, everything set out in front of me. I like everything brought to me. I don't like to have to go get my food. I want you to bring me my steak, bring me my sides, bring me my drinks, bring me my dessert. Cats or dogs? Dogs. One million and a thousand percent. Love dogs. Mm, L.A. or NYC? NYC. Duh. I do love L.A., though, but NYC just has a vibe and an energy that cannot be matched. Uh, But I am excited to go to L.A. eventually when I'm able to start traveling again. Basketball or football, uh, I like them both, but football is my favorite thing to watch. Giants or Jets? Giants. Leggings or shorts? Hmm. I think Lululemon leggings are my favorite thing to wear above all anything and everything. They're the most comfortable things in the world. I am not paid to say that, but they are the truth. Candles or wax melts? I don't even know what a wax melt is, so I guess candles. White meat or dark meat? Are we talking food or are we talking men? I'm just kidding. Um, I like them both, since you didn't specify what we're talking about. Um, flip-flops or Crocs? I mean, guys, from the bottom of my heart, I am begging each and every one of you, please don't wear Crocs. Please. If you have Crocs, take them off your feet. And burn them immediately. Thank you. Heels or trainers? Oh, I am all about sneakers. Please. I, I would If I never had to wear heels another day in my life, it would be too soon. Little spoon or big spoon? Guys, come on. If someone says they prefer to be the big spoon, they are lying to your face. No one prefers to be the big spoon. And I am small, so I need to be little spoon anyways. So little spoon. Um, Louis or Gucci? If I would be confined to one brand and one brand only, I would say Gucci. But I like them both. Uh, Jordan high top or low high tops? Come on now. Buff dudes or lean dudes? I like a buff dude. I like a, I like a beefy, muscular man. Someone said, us dark meat men love you too. I love that. Uh, Let's see, what else? What are some other questions? This is so fun. Mexican or Chinese food? Mexican food. I love chips and salsa. Don't put a basket in front of me. I will eat that shit so fast. Jordans are regular Nikes. Um, I like Nike Air Max the best. John Cena or The Rock? I mean, The Rock is my dude. He's been my dude since day one. So I am a rock girl. But total respect and props go out to John Cena as well. Oh, Nikki. Nikolai, my man. Mi amore. Everyone message MJ Sams and tell him you love him. Yeah, there's a very strong way. How can you tell? Uh, Pac or Biggie? I'm a, I'm a Tupac girl. I've always loved Tupac. Funny story for everybody. When I was in fifth grade, I locked myself in my bedroom and would not let myself come out of the room until I memorized every single word to Tupac's changes. That was in fifth grade. So, God, I don't even know what year what that, that was. And then last year, I was at Wale Mania, and they asked me if I had a gun to my head, what song would I rap? And I said Tupac's changes because it's ingrained in my head forever. I know every single word. And so they're like, okay, rap it. And I was supposed to have the music. And then the whole freaking sound system went out. So I had to acapella rap Tupac's changes on stage. And guess who nailed it? Me. Even though my voice is garbage. But that's okay. All right. What else is going on? A LeBron or Kobe? Ooh. a very tough one I'm can't I can't choose LeBron or Kobe uh 
I think LeBron will always be known as like one of the greatest. I mean, they're both be known as some of the, two of the greatest athletes of all time. But LeBron is like it's it's like the MJ LeBron debate. So I mean, I don't know though. I mean, Kobe, I grew up watching. So I don't. Know, I love them both. Heavy metal or grunge? I don't listen to either. I think they're both terrible. Uh, the weekend or party next door? The weekend. God, I love the weekend. The theme song of WrestleMania is from the weekend. I love the weekend. Mm. Don't ask me, MJ or LeBron. We are not doing this. We are not doing this. We have this debate all the time on first take. This is like such a subjective argument. I can't even talk about it. Wine or cider? Wine, for sure. I'm not a cider drinker. Rihanna or Beyonce? Rihanna. I've always loved Rihanna. Um, I think I just, yeah, I vibe with Rihanna more than Beyonce. <laughs> Brett Young or Keith Urban? Are those both country singers? I don't know. I can't answer that because I'm not a country fan. Grapes or oranges? I like grape. Akon or Common, I'm going with Akon on that one. <laughs> Eleonora, black turtleneck shirt or black turtleneck bodysuit. Oh, look at the cute dog. Black turtleneck bodysuit all the way. <laughs> what a great question, though. Very, very um, appropriate. If ever, anyone knows me, you know I love me a good turtleneck. This is not a turtleneck. I'm exposing myself too much here. I need to be conservative up to here. I was told at a Shabbat dinner recently that I need to be more covered up. And um, once I get back to the cold weather, I plan on being more covered up. Uh, NSYNC or Backstreet Boys? Backstreet Boys. Even though I do love NSYNC, I still am going to go with Backstreet Boys. I actually have been to several um, Backstreet Boy concerts. And I've been to an NSYNC concert as well. God, I love boy bands. What about 98 Degrees? You remember that? What did, they, what did 98 Degrees sing? Uh... God must have spent. No, was that? No, that was insane. Right? What did? What did someone tell me what ninety eight degrees saying, please? I can't remember. Did someone just ask me about Britney Spears? Oh no, no, that's just someone named Britney. Um, curly hair, or straight hair for me. I think curly hair over straight. Honestly, I'm very lazy. This, I just woke up and my hair was like this this morning. So, this was a blessing from God because I have no intention on styling my hair for the next however long unless I have to oh yeah um the hardest thing of it's the hardest thing I ever oh wow Can, Eleanor type out some of the lyrics for me I can't remember how that goes it's the hardest thing I'll ever have to learn to show no emotion when you start to cry I can't see what you mean to me when my hands are tied and my heart's not free okay sorry wow. um yeah it's a dog oh my god Brick you're so cute can I zoom in on you hi Brick look at him the little baby come here come here oh So don't have to social distance from dogs. Ain't that the best? Don't have to social distance from the animals. Um, okay, ask me some more either ors. These are fun. Oh, I do not sing good. Please don't lie to me because then I'll keep doing it. Uh, comedy movie or action or love story. I like a good comedy, but I do love a good love story. Like The Notebook cannot be duplicated. It's amazing. Uh, Destiny Child or TLC? TLC. Duh. Wow, I was about to sing Destiny's Child as I say TLC. Um, someone said, wait, what is that? 90s rap or 2000s rap? Um, I'm a big fan of late 90s, early 2000s, so I'm going to go with both. What else? Um, 
PS4, Xbox. I'm, I'm not a really a video game player. Someone else will have to answer that for me. I had a PlayStation, the original PlayStation, back in the day. And my favorite games were Mortal Kombat Trilogy. I liked Grand, not Grand Theft Auto, but it was a like Grand Auto. It was like a racing game. And then I liked Frogger, <laughs> where you'd have to jump across the river and get the frog across. Hello, Uncle Johnny. Say hello to everyone. Thing. Say hello to everyone. You're live on How Instagram. Are you? What do you say? Tell a tell a funny story, good joke. Uh, a good joke and a funny story. Whatever you want. Whatever I want. We're doing impersonation. Stella, I could have been a contender. <laughs> that was a good one. He's great. Everyone, he's funny. He's the funny one in the family. That's where I get my wish from. Um, let's see. I can have your frog. Thank you. Netflix and chill or movie nights? Netflix nights. I don't have enough, I don't have enough attention for a movie these days. I'm so ADD. Oh my God. Randy Cruz. Uh, I think it was Gran Turismo. I'm pretty sure it was Gran Turismo. I think that was like the move back on PS original, the PSOG. Squats or deadlifts? Ooh, I'm going to go with squats over deadlifts. Even though I used to always like deadlifts better, I think I like squats better now. That's a tough one, though. Yeah, quarantine and chill is right. It's all we have to do. Ireland or Iceland? I've never been to either, but I would love to go to both. So I'll answer that question once I do. Hammocks or bed? I mean, a bed because... How much time can you really spend in a hammock unless you're living in the jungle? Real Housewives of New Jersey or New York? Joey wants to know. I love Joey. Um, New Jersey, duh. Come on, Melissa Gorga's the shit. I love her. And you know what? You gotta love Teresa. I mean, on, honestly, it's... I love them all in their own very special ways. Some of them are entirely crazy, though. Duncan or Starbucks? Starbucks. Someone said they just his friends playing with a Nerf gun. I know this is literally like where we are these days. Look, I'm not hating on it. I want to know everyone's best Instagram, not Instagram, uh, best Amazon purchases. What are the best purchases you've made off? In, um, it, here we go. I'm gonna start over. What are the best purchases you've made off Amazon since coronavirus started? Full House or Fuller House? I don't even mess with Fuller House. That is does not touch Full House. Full House is amazing, actually. You guys, Danny Tanner, Bob Saget had a very funny tweet the other week. It was, um, he said something like, I spend hours every day cleaning my house from top to bottom. I have become Danny Tanner. We all have become Danny Tanner. Um, okay, you, someone bought an N95 mask. That's a good purchase. That's a good purchase. Papa John's or Pizza Hut? Papa John's for the sole reason... That they give you that amazing garlicky butter sauce. I'd put that all over my body. It's so good. That's disgusting, by the way. Stand by it, though. Um, Dave Chappelle or Kevin Hart? Ooh. Maybe Dave Chappelle, just because like he brings back really good memories of my life. <laughs> Someone said, I have literally cleaned so much during this time. It's crazy. Uh, lemons or limes. If it's alcohol, I'm going with the lime. If it's water, I'm going with the lemon. You know, you got to have tequila with the lime. Indian or Italian food? I'm going to go with Italian food because I am Italian and it's just my favorite. But I love Indian food. Garlic naan. So good. Chicken tikka masala. I love, um, I love really all Indian foods. I've been to India and Italy. Um, vodka or tequila? Tequila all day, every day. My favorite book to read. I have some of my favorite books on the highlights on my, my Instagram page. You can go check them out there. Yes, Madri, down with the brown. I sure am. I am a multicultural woman, everyone. I do not discriminate. I love everybody. I love them all. 
lamb over rice or chicken over rice? I'm going to go with lamb over rice. I love Greek food. Love me some Greek food. There is a Greek restaurant in New York that I cannot wait to go back to. Taverna. So good. Cyclades. Cyclades Taverna. I don't know how to actually say the first name. But it's so good. I can't wait to go back once everything's open again. Um... Let's see. What are some other good questions? Squats or lunges? <laughs> Squats. Lunges are terrible. I mean, I do them because they work, but they're terrible. Have I ever tried souvlaki? Yes, of course. Dennis the Menace or Home Alone? Ooh. What a great question. You know what? I haven't watched Dennis the Menace in forever, and I actually think you just inspired me to watch Dennis the Menace. I'm going to watch Dennis the Menace at some point this week. But I do love Home Alone. Breakfast Club or 16 Candles? Mm, 16 Candles. Million dollar, dollar Listing New York or LA? That is a great question. Um, I like Million Dollar Listing New York because I live there, so it's fun to see like the neighborhoods that I am very familiar with and like what things are going for, even though you all know that reality TV is... Not exactly what it seems to be, but I do love that show, Million Dollar Listing. Um, someone just dozed off watching my live stream. How rude. How rude. American History X or Training Day? Training Day. I love that movie. I love Training Day. Denzel Washington. So good. Pancake or bread? Um, I mean, those are like completely different things, so I can't really choose between the two of them. Love is blind or the circle. Um, you know what? I actually kind of think I liked the circle better than love is blind. Do you, let's see. The office or parks and rec. Someone else asked me this. I don't know. They're both amazing. And I actually want to watch them right now, but I think I like parks and rec better. I think parks and recs is Ooh, Uncut Gems. Someone just said Uncut Gems. I love that movie. I saw it. I almost had a heart attack for the entire length of the movie. It was crazy. What a good actor Adam Sandler was in that movie. He 100% should have won, won an award for that. Or at least been nominated. It was kind of bullshit that he wasn't. Very much bullshit. Oh, this, art, this hand is hurting, so I have to move. Arizona or Cali to live? I would do Cali to live. Halloween or Friday the 13th? Halloween. Spider-Man or Batman? I'm not into either, to be honest. Parks and Rec or Friends? I would still say Parks and Rec. I never really got into Friends like some other people did. If you're stranded and alone on an island with foods, and you can only pick a person with you for the rest of 2020, who would you have picked? I mean... That's a really tough question. I guess I have to choose my mom, right? That'd be pretty rude if I just left her behind. Uh, can I say something in Portuguese? Abrigado. Abrigada. Oh, is it abrigada or abrigado? Oh, man, I want to show you guys. Look at how beautiful this is. Stunning. I mean, this is not bad. Uh, okay. My nose is really itching on the side. I think I have a bug bite. Obrigado. Okay, I was right. I was right. Thank goodness. Favorite pizza place in NYC. Ooh. I really like Ruby Rosa. But you know what? I, I really I like Crin Street Pizza too, but I I don't know. I don't really get Oh my gosh, Darren Rovell. Hi, Darren. I know I shouldn't touch my face. It's such a bad habit. I think it's something I'm going to have a hard time breaking, but I did just wash my hands before I did this live. So I should be okay. Hopefully I'm still trying not to though. Like I've been like good. Like when I leave the grocery store, I'm doing like the side thing, but, um, Madri, what did you just say over here? She said Ruby Rosa too. Oh my gosh, Madri, people are saying hi to you. <laughs> You're a hit. 
Um, okay, waffles or pancakes. I am a pancakes girl. I used to be a waffle girl. In fact, I have a story from when I was younger. I used to go to this restaurant in North Carolina all the time because I grew up spending my summers in North Carolina. I would get a waffle, a Belgian waffle with whipped cream, strawberries on top, and chocolate chips on top. And on the side, I'd get a soft shell crab. If that's not disgusting, I don't know what is. Actually, it's not disgusting. People do chicken and waffles all the time. I was doing crabs and waffles. I was way before the times. I was before I even knew it was cool. Sweet and savory. Aladdin or Lion King? I like Aladdin. I love Aladdin. Aladdin's like kind of hot. Jasmine's gorgeous. It's like another attractive character. Attractive cast of characters, cartoon-wise. Yeah, I would definitely date Aladdin. I'll go on a magic carpet ride with him. <laughs> um, do I like donuts like Smandy and Sonia? Yes, I love donuts. Oh, my God. Love me some donuts so much. My favorite Indian dish is chicken tikka masala. Um, Ghostbusters or Gremlins? I like Gremlins. I love scary movies. Love scary movies. Remember when I was on the scary movie kick and I was, like, live tweeting scary movies? Maybe I should do that again. I need to watch that. What was that really, like, effed up movie someone told me to watch? They were like, it's the most effed up movie in the world. I need to remember what it was. Uh, I think Graves recommended it. But I can't remember what it was. I'll have to find out. I'll have to text him. Little Mermaid or Beauty and the Beast? Wow. Um, Beauty and the Beast. Belle was always my very favorite growing up, so I have to go with it. I have to go with Beauty and the Beast. The Shutter app, great for app for horror movies. No, the Shutter app. Wow, I've never even heard of it. I'm gonna have to download that. My favorite donut place is Donut Plant in New York City. So good. Their carrot cake donut. Stop. Just stop. Don't make me go there. Have I seen the movie Us? Yeah, I, you know what? I didn't love that movie. A Serbian film. Miller 12G or 12Q. Yes, that's it. A Serbian film. I have to watch that. I heard it is the most... I heard it's like very, very disturbing. So I'm going to have to watch that. What is my guilty pleasure? Hmm. Laying around all day. I mean, which I like did even before. It was like the thing that you had to do. You know what's going to be interesting? I want to know... Once quarantine is over, are people still going to lay around all day and watch Netflix or are people going to be out and about like they never have been before? Because I think people are complaining all the time about, oh, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. But I think once everything goes back to normal, I know people are going to start canceling plans again. People are going to stay at home. I hope they don't, but I just have a feeling we always want what we can't have. That's just an unfortunate part. Of being human. Someone says they're going bowling when once this is all over. That's cool. I'm not mad at a little bowling. Someone asks, this is how I really talk. Yep, this is it. This is how I really talk. Yeah, someone said it'll give me nightmares. I know, I've heard that. I'm sorry, I have to keep itching. I don't know what's going on. Um, okay, I'm going to get off here, you guys, because I think we're going to eat soon, and I want to go hang with my fam. Okay, I'll do three more. Three more little either-ors. Oh, yeah, you want to, someone wants to see the view. I'll show you the view real quick. Look at this. So beautiful. The sun already set, so I don't have like. Look at that. Wow. Well, I'll just finish my thing in front of this beautiful sunset. All right, three more and or questions, and then we're going to go. Rick, what are you doing over there? Let's 
let's see. This would be a good selfie. Mm -hmm. um, white chocolate or dark? Mm, I like dark chocolate. Um, someone said, is this live just to flex your good hair day? I mean, yes. <laughs> no, not only for that. I had to get ready. I had, I had some work business to take care of, so I had to get ready. But, yeah, it definitely encouraged me to go live, being that I was put together today. Thank you for calling me out on that. I appreciate you. Uh, I don't have a TikTok. Should I make a TikTok? I really don't want to. But I'm going to ask you, should I make a TikTok? I really don't want to. I think it is such a waste of time. And I really don't want to get stuck in that thing of like making dance videos. Because I think some of them are really cute and funny. But like, I really don't want that to be my life. But people are saying I should make a TikTok. Well, what do I even do on TikTok? What do I do? Do I have to dance? I don't want to dance. Someone said no. Okay, we got one. One cool. Not not cool, but is everyone saying yes. <laughs> wow. No, I can't eat. I can't. I can't even. That's that's exactly what I was getting at too. I can't. I can't be that person. I can't. It would literally like I would just have to jump off this this bridge right now, this pier. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. I. You know what. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold off on the TikTok for right now. And then if I get really bored, which hopefully I never get to that level. I mean, look, people are making money off TikTok. You can't you can't fault the people who are making money off the platform. Um, but we'll see. I'll let you all know if I decide to. But, okay, one thing before I go. I want to remind all of you, tomorrow at noon, noon Eastern, I will be live on the XFL's Instagram page. XFL at XFL live on their page doing a workout with Martez Carter. He played for the LA Wildcats this past season. His nickname was Mr. Excitement. He's a really fun, cool guy. We're going to do a fun question and answer session and a mini workout, and I'm going to make him pay for it. I'm going to make him pay for going live with me. So everyone, tune in tomorrow at noon Eastern on the XFL page. I hope to see all of you there, and we'll have some fun. Okay, I'm like totally showing off right now. I should stop. Um, okay, everybody. Thanks for watching and thanks for all your fun questions. Let's do this again. I really like this, like this or that type deal that we did. So goodbye, everyone. Have a wonderful Tuesday night. Enjoy the time with your family or your friends or by yourself. Watch some good Netflix for me. Watch some good movies. Do some puzzles. Uh, meditate, do some yoga, do some workouts, and I will see you tomorrow at noon Eastern live on XFL's Instagram page at XFL for a whoa, sorry, at, at XFL for a workout and a uh, question and answer session. So everybody, goodbye. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Bye.